And what has made you devote your life to this? Well, um, our son, JJ, uh, or Jeffrey Joseph Vance, called him JJ, uh, died when he was 14 of what is now called thrombotic storm. In fact, at the time when he died, it really didn't, it really didn't have a name. No. Um, I think the trigger was about, he was a big soccer player. He was, he, um, he was training with the, the goalie for the famous U.S. Tracy Ducar was the goalie for the U.S. women's, the first big team with the uh, one that won the World's Cup. One that won the World's Cup, and uh, and so he was, he loved to play. He was a goalie, so and he he had an injury. He had he had a knee injury. He bruised his patella. Yeah, yeah. He, the front part of your knee. I think that was his trigger because right. that was about three weeks before. Um, you know, there's a lot of manipulation these days, certainly in neurology, and pulling clots uh, that have been successful, but that's, you know, the normal J. J. process. J.J. Clot, he had clots everywhere. He had clots and everywhere. it was so quick, hey? Like so a matter quick. of hours or minutes? Or? Well, he came, he got sick. It was like the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. He got a really bad headache. Yeah. And then... Uh, he stayed home. Day, he stayed home, and then he started having seizures, and after that it was... And then he got better at first. He, he did get a little better, mm -hmm. a little, and then and then crashed. and then he crashed, and it was like, so that was Thanksgiving, and then he died on December twelfth. I mean, I just I, I'm thinking I don't even know if JJ knew what was going on. Okay. Well, the, the hardest thing for me is, uh, you know, focusing on the research. It still brings back all the memory, and for us, our son was very much a people person, and. Uh, mm. The story I always love is we didn't know until he died was there was a, when he was in Chapel Hill he was at a school a middle school and um, there was a being in a university town we get a lot of people from out uh, international people come for a month sure. or something and they bring their kids and so there was a kid there from Japan who spoke no English really and uh, but he had to go to school and uh, so evidently, JJ would the teacher told us JJ would sit with him every. So go over and have lunch. He'd sat by himself. He'd sit instead of. JJ him, couldn't stand it. Yeah, so he would sit oh. with him every lunch, and she said, "Well, what do you guys talk about?" Said, oh, we, you know, we laugh at this and that. And we <laughs> nice. This and, and so, so it's that legacy of mentorship that you're actually continuing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's sort of uh, you know caring about people. And, uh, That's amazing. Jeff had this made for me for Christmas. It says more than life it is. JJ's birthstone and my daughter's birthstone. Because when they were little and they were, uh, they were hang, you know, when they, they go to sleep at night or something, I always say, how much do I love you, JJ? How much do I love you, J Danica? Especially the JJ, because he was like so the super people person. He'd say, I'd say, he'd say, more than life, mommy, more than life. So then he was in the hospital. It was, he was okay. He was doing okay. And then he started, you know, that night he started getting really sick. And uh, and the last thing he said he said to me was, "Mommy, how much do you love me?" And I said, "More than life, JJ. More than life." And then he said, "The last thing he ever said." And then he never woke up again. Mm. But it's a beautiful necklace.